Okay, so now we're going to find the neutral timing point of this motor. So here's a brush holder ready prepared with a set of good brushes in it ready to go on. And just drop that. That's it, drop that down the inside. Just locate a couple of screws for now, just to hold it steady. Clamp the screws nearly tight, but not quite all the way down, so you can turn the brush holder like this, but it stays fairly tight against the against the casing of the motor. Okay, so now again, this uh, this could be done with a 12 volt battery um, or a regulated power supply. Um, either one's fine, but you don't want too high voltage. Um, 12, 15 volts is is fine. Um, so we'll spin that up again. So here we can see the current that the motor draws whilst it's spinning without a load on it at all. And we can see if we turn the brush holder slightly, that current will change. And the goal is to seek the lowest running current that you can. So turn it and see it's, it's gone past the centre, it's started rising again. Here we've got 6.7, here we 5.6, 5.7. If I continue turning it in that direction, it will start to rise again. And we are 6. Seven, eight amps. So, seeking the middle place where the current is as low as possible. For this motor, that appears to be 5.6, 5.7 amps. So, lock it off in that position. And that is your neutral timing point. At that point, it's sensible to put a little mark down against the motor here and against the brush holder so that you can always find that plate again, given the same brush holder and motor. From here, um, you would advance the timing slightly, um, uh, depending on the use of the motor. But if you're if you're putting pushing it at reasonable currents and you tend to use the motor always in the same direction, um, you would advance the motor into the direction of rotation. So, for instance, if your motor is turning in a clockwise direction um, and you, you want to use a reasonable amount of current on it, you might want to advance your timing by perhaps, say, a millimetre. So to do that, you would simply unlock your screws. Your motor is turning clockwise, so you turn the brush holder anti-clockwise by one millimetre. That's one millimetre of advance. You turn it forward another millimetre, of course, that's two millimetres of advance. Um, so uh, this will uh, uh, this will improve the commutation, um, improve the, ele the electrical flow through the motor, um, especially at higher higher current and higher speeds.